In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Google app on an iPhone to access Google Lens. Google Lens is a super useful feature that most people still don't realize is available. You can use Lens to identify anything from plants like trees or flowers, animals, or objects or tools that you have around your house. I've used Lens to make sure that some plants that I'm walking through aren't poisonous and have used it to replace items that have broken, but I can't remember what the specific thing was called or what it went to. We'll walk through downloading the Google app and then how to use Lens. First, head to the App Store and then search for the basic Google app. Download the app, or if you've had it downloaded already, make sure that it's up to date. Once it's finished installing, open Google. The first time you open the app, you should be asked a couple of prompts. If you would like real-time alerts from things like weather or news, you can allow it here. Next, select whether you want to allow notifications from Google. Both of these options are personal preference and are up to you. Now at the homepage, take a look at the search bar near the top. All the way to the right, you'll see a camera. That's the new lens icon. Tap that. You'll then get a pop-up window letting you know that Google Lens only uses your camera to find results while the app is open or when you access your photo library. You can then tap Open Photo Library and then give the amount of access that you'd like to give to Google for this. If you choose Select Photos, it will then open your photo library where you can choose only the photos that you'd like Google to have access to. The next option is to allow access to all photos. Choose this and you'll see all of your photos inside of the Google app. And finally, if you do not want Google to have access to any photos, choose Don't Allow. For this example, I'll choose All Photos. Next, and the important step for what we'll be using this most of the time, is Camera Access. Allowing Google access to your camera allows the app to see what you're pointing at, allowing real-time identification. Choose OK. We'll first look at using the camera to identify a leaf. At the top of the screen, tap the camera icon above Search with your camera. The camera will then open and you can point it at the object that you want to identify. When the object is in frame, hit the Search or Shutter button. Google Lens will then search the image, and at the bottom will give you the results that it found on the web along with pictures. You can then scroll through the results, and when you find the one that you want to look into further, just select it and it'll take you to the web page with the info. The info could be anything that it finds on the web. If it's a plant, it may show you the name and how to care for it, or if it's an item, it may give you a link to Amazon to purchase it. Next, we'll look at how to use Google Lens on a photo that we've taken in the past that's in our camera roll. Head back to the main Google Lens page. And again, if you're on the main Google homepage, just tap the camera icon in the search bar. Under the camera section at the top, you'll then see screenshots in all images if you've given Google access to all your photos. Find and choose the image that you'd like to identify. Google will then automatically start the search and give you the results down at the bottom, which you can then scroll through and hopefully find what you're looking for. A tip is, if you don't get the results right away that are helpful, try maybe taking the photos from different angles or include as much of the item in the view. It may take it a few tries for it to match the item and results. And that's how you use Google Lens to identify objects on an iPhone. 